Hi, welcome to Monster Transmissions. You're in Kurt's Corner. Today we're going to go over an AOD conversion package. And you're like, wow, sounds pretty in intense. Well, it is. There's a lot of parts in the conversion package. You know, you get the block plate, inspection cover, torque converter, training mount, TV cable, brackets, instructions. Yeah, it's okay. We got it under control. Okay, we give you all the bolts and screws that you need for this setup to make the conversion from an older transmission, let's say a C4 or a C6 transmission over to the overdrive. So it's a very, very simple conversion. We make it simple by giving you everything you need to do this conversion. Now this is the condition you should see it receive in. You know, nice big monster logo on the side of the box. Before you sign the freight bill from the carrier, you want to thoroughly inspect the outside of this box to ensure that it's in good condition. You don't want to get one in like this, you know. Okay, there's a pretty good indication that there's a problem here. Okay, if the boxes have holes in it, it's, uh, it's obviously been opened before, there may be parts missing. So in those situations, you want to open the box, unscrew the side of the box, slide it off to inspect the product before you sign the freight bill. Once you've signed the freight bill from the carrier, you've now accepted the product and the condition they delivered it in. So it's very key, step one, when you receive a Monster Transmission, check the condition of the packaging before you sign it. And another hint, if you get a transmission that has no box, there's obviously a problem. All of our transmissions shipped out come in a packaging like so. So we're now going to open this transmission up. And the one we're opening today is specifically an AOD conversion package. So some additional components that come with this package that don't normally come with just ordering a transmission. So we're going to open this up and we'll go over each item that comes in the Monster conversion package. Now we've done so there's not banding equipment to deal with. It's basically three to four screws that you unscrew from the packaging. At least one to two, sometimes four screws on each side depending on the unit. So it's as simple as that. Slide the box off and guess what? Now you have a nice table to check all your products out. Now the first thing you're going to notice is on the very top of your shipment will be your invoice, the warranty documentation paperwork, as well as very detailed instructions. The things you need to check before you install the transmission and then accident the installation procedure all the way up to how to adjust the TV cable on this particular unit. So all your instructions are in this package, in this envelope, as well as your monster stickers and other information. So that's step one. Step two, you'll notice you'll have a trans cooler on top. The trans cooler will come with its own instructions, uh, cables, brackets, everything for the trans cooler kit is inside this packaging. So this is the cooler that comes in the conversion package. The next item, because it's an AOD, it'll come with a multiple set of brackets. One set of brackets is actually for the carburetor or throttle body. So this will hold the cable on your intake uh, for the TV cable, the throttle valve cable. So this is the cable. We do have separate video instructions on how to set up the actual TV cable, but it has its own printed uh, instructions made by Locar and it shows you how to set up this TV cable and the critical operation it does which sets the line pressure of the transmission. So I highly suggest you watch our Monster AOD, AOD TV cable instructions. I have a whole video just dedicated to installing this cable. Uh, next up you'll notice there is the fluid which the customer ordered extra with this unit and then the torque converter which was custom calibrated to his specific engine, the size, cubic inch size, as well as the cam, the lift and duration of the cam, and the tire size, all those play in the factors of determining the stall rate of the converter. So this is the converter that matches this particular application. You also notice mounted on the front is the actual transmission mount to go on the transmission itself. Also attached will be a whole bag of bolts and screws. Now, we'll go over each set of those because it's very important. There's a whole bunch of bolts and screws here. Okay, the first thing we're going to start with is the actual speedometer gear. This is a nylon gear and you'll take this, take their factory gear off the speedo cable and you'll install the gear because this will be calibrated 
to your vehicle tire size and rear end gear ratio and the transmission. So this is the gear will come in the kit. You'll also include four torque converter nuts that match up for the four studs on the converter. It'll include two transmission mount bolts. Place this mount onto the bottom case of the transmission. It'll include two nuts which fit the two studs that go through the cross member on your application. So these are the nuts for the transmission mount. It'll also include a smaller nut. This nut actually goes on for your throttle cable, the TV cable. So there's a rod that goes through the linkage and this nut fits that um, arm on the transmission for the TV cable. It'll come with two longer, these are 3 8 16 thread bolts. These are your starter bolts. It'll include a, another bolt, 3 8 16, a little shorter. This actually is a bolt hole on the driver's side of the casting of the case to hold the TV cable or bracket to the transmission case. Then you'll have the actual bolt for the speedometer housing. Uh, these bolts go in the front portion of the case that holds an inspection cover to make sure no debris gets into the converter area of the transmission. So there's three bolts there. So there's a whole variety of bolts that come with the transmission. Uh, so when you do your conversion, you pretty much everything except for the actual bell housing bolts, which you reuse off your old transmission. So that covers all the bolts and screws. We also have on the transmission or in the bag are the two coolant line fittings. A lot of times, because we just recently tested the unit, these coolant line fittings will be on the case of the transmission. So the coolant line fittings are here. It also will come with the, um, the multi-lever linkage arm. So on the universal fits, and that linkage arm is adjustable. So you don't have to take the linkage out of the transmission and reinstall it in different clock positions. It comes with a universal linkage arm, manual shift lever arm on the transmission, as well as a locking dipstick tube. So this here has a locking mechanism. So when this transmission builds up extra pressure, it will not pop the dipstick up and vent it onto your nice uh, engine compartment. We're now gonna remove the banding so we can show you the other uh, brackets and components that come in this kit. Okay, this is the converter that came with this particular unit. You notice that the converter uh, will have a hub cover, okay, to prevent any debris from getting inside the converter, as well as there are four nylon caps, which is protecting the threads of the converter so they're not damaged in packaging or shipping. So you can remove these covers before you install a converter. And talking about converters, you need to ensure that you watch our video on how to install a torque converter because it's critical on setting up these, especially new transmissions, that you pre-fill the converter, at least one or two quarts of transmission fluid, and that you grease this hub prior to installing it on the transmission. That's critical. There's also a whole list of tags all around the transmission reminding you what to do during installation. You make sure you tighten the, the coolant line fittings, that you install the speedo gears, that you check the threads of the starter bolts, and you put the bolts in the case before you install the unit, and you ensure how you install the converter. So there's a lot of tags around the transmission that reviews the important areas to look for as you're installing the transmission. We now have the fluid, it's 12 quarts, but it exposes two covers. This is an actual engine block plate that will come into conversion. Now this will go between the engine block and the front of the transmission. So you want to make sure that you, if you don't have an engine block plate, then we provide you one in a conversion package. You need to ensure that you use this one, even if you have a factory one. It's a nice new plate to install for the conversion package. Then there's this inspection cover I was talking about. This goes actually in the bottom part of this plate. So you seal up the whole front of the transmission so no debris, rocks, dirt, mud can get up inside the front of the transmission just like the factory unit. So these are the last two components. We still have the transmission mount here. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the mount from the table. Now you notice the actual transmission is strapped down to the table. So we're going to cut that banding that kept it in place during transit. And you notice that the, this actually went around a piece of wood and it's not actually clamping down on the transmission case itself. 
You can remove these screws. There's four legs. Remove the top of this. And then expose it to the transmission. Now the transmission, by removing the table, you can simply lift it. You can actually use this converter bracket, the bracket on the front of the transmission. This actually was to secure the box down as well as protect the front of the transmission. And the back legs actually, of course, support, and that's what the, the packaging, the box was screwed to. But you should be able to lift, so make sure you have, it's team lift, and one person on the front can lift by this wood bracket that's bolted to the case, and another one grab the tail housing, and lift this up, put it on the transmission jack, and then you install the torque converter after you've filled it with some fluid, and you can go on by installing all your apparatus onto the transmission case prior to installation. There's a lot of components in the AOD conversion package, similar to the 700 other conversion packages that we offer, but this is the most thorough one on the market. There's no extra, there's no hidden parts. Everything comes in the conversion package. Now, if you have any questions on the conversion package, our tech team would be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. So you can give us a call, toll free, 1-800-708-0087, and we'll talk to you then.